Hey guys, I'm Becky from BookBit Reviews and welcome to another reading vlog. It has been about a week, probably longer, I think maybe 12 days, since I have read. Yeah, and I I kind of know why, but at the same time I don't. Um, I just haven't been in the mood to read. It, it's not a, a regular book slump where I, you know, can't find something that I'm interested in reading or, you know, I'm having like a book hangover. Like, I just don't want to read. I would rather just watch TV at the moment. So for the last 11 plus days, that's what I've done. Um, I found a new show on Hulu <laughs> called Burden of Proof. So I've been making my way through those three seasons. I also watched a show called Seven Seconds on Netflix, which was amazing. So yeah, I've just been watching TV and I haven't been editing, making videos, nothing. So now it is April 14th, it's Wednesday. And I'm starting to feel in the mood to like create content, read, you know, get my life back together. So yesterday I did start reading again. Thank God. So now I can make more vlogs. I have to like refigure out my whole editing and posting schedule because I am so far behind in videos now. So I got to figure that out. But did start reading. So I am currently reading She Smells the Dead by E.J. Stevens. This is a book that I started a few weeks ago while at work and my plan was to kind of like read it while I was in the building but then I stopped reading and that didn't happen. So I am over 50% of the way done with it. It's only like a hundred and some pages. It's not a long book and it's been a book that's been on my TBR for a very very long time. I've read, I've always wanted to read this book and then E.J. Stevens came out with um, the Ivy Granger Psychic Detective series. Love that one so I finally wanted to pick this one up. I will say that it is kind of like first book feels. I don't know if it is E.J. Stevens first book. It's a YA whereas the Ivy Granger is adult but it feels like it's definitely like very early stages of writing. The writing styles there and the want to keep reading is definitely there but it's definitely not fully fleshed out in terms of characters are pretty well developed but not the best and it also just like leaves a whole lot to the imagination. Like there'll be like a date and then they won't describe what actually happened on the date. Like it'll just be the next day. So it's definitely not the best but I am still enjoying it and at this point I just want to finish it. So I am going to finish it instead of DNFing it just because it's so short and it's not bad. It's just like not fully developed. So I do want to finish that hopefully today. I did also start book six in the Mediator series by Van Cabot. I've been wanting to finish the series for so long. So uh, this is the last official book in the series. And then there is the um, one or two like spinoff kind of books, but I don't think they're like spinoffs. It's just like way later down the road. Like these are YA in the, I think it's one book and maybe like a novella take place when our main character Suze is an adult. So I did start this. It's definitely feeling very early YA, <laughs> but I still love the series and I I do want to finish it. So I am on page 38 of this. Lots of progress has been made, I know, but yeah, hopefully I can read this. I do have a list of all the books that I want to read by the 18th, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, six books in 12 chapters. I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> so I definitely think that this month is going to be a bit lighter. So as for what else to read, I'm not sure. I have a lot of things that it doesn't really matter when I read them. So I'm just gonna kind of just mood read through. I will just say I'm very happy to be vlogging again. Hopefully I can get in the mood to edit because like I said there's so many videos. So many videos. <laughs> but alright, I uh, just want to pop in, start this vlog, get the ball rolling, have some accountability for me to continue to read, and I'm gonna go back to work. So I will see you guys once I do some reading today after work. Hey guys, so it is the next day. 
Last night I did finish She Smells the Dead and I decided I'm gonna give it three out of five stars. I definitely thought that it was interesting but it definitely wasn't well fleshed out. I thought that it was a standalone because I never heard of another book in the series but apparently it is a series because it abruptly ended and I don't I don't think I'm going to continue on and read more of the series. I think I'm going to stick with EJ's newer series and yeah. So it was fun and now we're done. <laughs> I then uh, needed to start something else because I wasn't able to touch my phone last night. So I did redo the screen protector on my phone because I got, I wanted to get a new screen protector because I, um, scratched my last one so I need to get a new one and I decided to get one that was like you know like super thick privacy screen all this crap and what I didn't realize is that you weren't able to use fingerprint technology <laughs> so now I've gotten another one and installed it last night and it's one where you have to like spray this like liquid on your phone and then put it on and then like squeegee it out and then you know wait a couple minutes and then do the edges and then wait 12 to 24 hours before touching your phone so I had to wait 12 hours <laughs> and it was so much harder than I thought normally before I go to bed I play games on my phone so I already knew like okay I'm just gonna read and then go to bed but there were so many times where like I wanted to update my reading progress or let me see if this is part of a series, you know, what's how many books are in there? Or what should I read next? Um, what can I get from my library to send to my Kindle? Like all of these things that I couldn't do. <laughs> so it was very, very difficult. But I survived. So while I waited to get tired, I decided to start another book, which I wasn't planning to read just yet. But like I said, this month is just like a, a chaotic month for reading. So I said, just go ahead. If I'm in the mood, let's just start it. And that is Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, which is book two in the From Blood and Ash series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I like just started it and then I went to bed. So I am now on chapter three, I think. So far, very interesting, very intrigued. If you remember when I read the first book, I really, really loved it until the very end. And then I was like, wait a minute. I don't know if I'm cool with this. So we have this like the book one starts with like a forbidden romance and then it turns into like an enemies to lovers but very like a sus way <laughs> at the very end. Like I don't know if I like that scene in the snow just because it didn't seem 100% consensual. I can understand how it was consensual but it's not something that I would have done. Like so now book two picks up right where book one ended which is really really nice there's like no time passed and we're starting to like have the feelings of like how I wish book one would have ended like I wish we would have had these kind of feelings to like rebuild the romance um I kind of basically just wish that the snow scene didn't happen is how I kind of would have just like absolutely adored book one. But other than that, like I like I said when I finished book one, I trust Jennifer to make this work for me. <laughs> so um, I'm definitely going into it open-minded. I know that I've heard something for book three that is very like, what? I think that there is a group sex scene, if I'm not mistaken, is what I've heard. So very what? I don't think Jennifer's ever done that in a book. So I'm really intrigued to see how that's going to play out. Who is it between? Yeah, that is my, that's my reading progress so far. I'm very excited to jump back into it and see what happens in this book. I will say that while I am happy to be reading it and um, excited to be reading it and have been wanting to pick it up, especially because book three does come out soonish, I believe, like next week or maybe the week after or maybe the next month. I don't know, sometime soon it's coming out. I am not really looking forward to this book turning a little bit more plot focused because there is still a plot of the story and not just character building and romance. So I may end up picking up like an adult romance that's just like very relationship focused because like I said, it's just been like a weird time for reading where like I want to read but then at the same time like there's all these amazing TV shows that I would rather be watching. So I kind of want to make sure that I stick with it. So I may pick up something on audio that's just like super 
focused on just the characters because I'm more of a character driven person than I'm a plot driven person. While I like plot, especially um, majority of the time, you know, I enjoy fantasy and things like that. I do enjoy a plot, but a lot of times I really just, you know, I'm just here for the romance, <laughs> to be totally honest. So. Hey guys, it is Saturday. I haven't updated you in a second, but uh, yesterday I just worked and then I read a bunch and read a whole bunch after midnight and I have plans on reading more today, so that is exciting. I have just woken up. I stayed up very late last night, I think like 4 a.m. I want to say, so um, it is now like probably 12, 30, 1 o'clock at this point. I am now like 43% of the way through uh, book two of From Blood and Ash, which I can't think of. Kingdom of Flesh and Fire? Yes, I am 43% of the way through Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. I am really, really liking it so far. I'm hoping that there's not some kind of like twist ending of this one, like book one, where it makes me not like our love interest anymore. <laughs> so um, I just think it's really funny that like book one had all of this like slow burn, tense, romance and then this big reveal happens and I'm like oh my god like I I guessed it but the way that it's brought about I wasn't cool with like it could have easily been done in a way where I'm like it's fine it's fine we can work with this but I do like that book two picks up exactly where book one leaves off and we are now starting to get the proper ways of handling this and rebuilding trust and like restarting all of those same slow burn <laughs> tense relationships because now it's basically like being with a different person so i'm i'm really enjoying it i have heard some rumors about book three and I, like i just don't see it yet <laughs> i don't see how it could happen why it would happen interesting interesting though so i'm i'm very interested interested to see what's going to happen in the rest of this book where that would happen so, hmm. otherwise, I do have plans right now to edit and upload a vlog. I haven't put up a video in like three weeks. I am so sorry. So that's going to happen right now. And then I'm going to, you know, get myself together and record a video to get put up hopefully tomorrow, which will be my bookish box unboxing for March. So I'm going to go edit right now and then read and update you later. Hey guys, it's Saturday night. I have edited and uploaded a vlog. I filmed my bookish box unboxing and that will hopefully go up tomorrow or Monday. So good things are happening. I'm now also 55% of the way through Kingdom of Flesh and Fire and I am loving this, you guys. I'm, mm, I'm really enjoying it. So I think, or at least hope, that no more surprises happen. Like I mentioned earlier, it seems like surprises are not going to happen in a way of like betrayal or anything like that. Uh, hopefully it's like fun surprises or like plot surprises. So yeah, I just wanted to pop in because I'm halfway through the book and I'm really, really loving it. So I'm going to go back downstairs and continue reading it because I'm just having a really, really great time. And yeah, some things are um, starting to be revealed uh, and I'm excited to see how it all plays out. And yes, I'm just, I'm ready. Hey guys, so it is Sunday. I'm sorry if you can hear the yard people outside. <laughs> Apparently we mowed the grass and we whack on Sundays, who knew? So I wanted to come on and update you really quickly for two reasons. Number one, um, I am going to get my hair cut today. I'm getting majority of it chopped off. I'm very, very looking forward to it. So that should be fun. So the next clip I should have different hair. But also because I only have like maybe a hundred pages left of Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. Now, my page counts I have found out are so messed up on this book because the physical copy has almost 700 pages, but the Kindle copy has just under five. So in the Kindle version, I have 
about a hundred and some pages, but in real life I probably have a little bit more than that. But I've also been reading it very, very quickly, so I don't foresee this taking any longer than today. Like, I definitely want to finish this today. It is crazy good. I stayed up way too late. I had a bout of insomnia, uh, stayed up till 6, but I stayed up until I think like 4.30 or 5 reading. I decided just to take advantage of it because why not? So I read a really big chunk last night and it's getting so good. I have so many passages highlighted in this book and I'm just loving it. I cannot wait for, what is it, like June or July when I get my special editions from the bookish box. I cannot wait. And I did pre-order the ebook copy of, I want to say Gilded Bones for some reason, but I don't think that's it. Uh, whatever the third book is, which comes out in a couple days, next week, um, soon. I have that and I don't know if I'm gonna start it right away or if I'm gonna wait until next month which was the original plan but we'll see yeah I'm just I'm loving this so much it is so so good and I I'm just totally here for it I can understand now why there will be a well if it's I don't know who the scene that I heard was going to happen in book three. I don't know who those people are, but so far from this book, I'm understanding who that could be between. I have a theory because I think it's four or more people. So I have a theory of who the fourth person could be if it is the three people I'm thinking of. But yes, I mean, I don't know who that person is, but I have an idea of who that person would be why there would be a fourth person. So interesting, interesting. I am gonna go read right now before I have to leave to go get my hair cut and then I will check in with you guys later. I got my hair cut. So chopped it off, loving it, loving it a lot. The longest layer is all the same length, just like a bit choppy. Um, and then there's some layers throughout, I got my bangs back. Hope I don't regret that. And yeah, I'm loving it. It is a little like flipped and a bit messy just because I've been, you know, playing with it all day and then laying on it while reading. So yes, in love, in love with it. So very excited. I didn't do anything with the color. I am slowly but surely washing out all of this purple and I'm going to just grow it out to be my natural brown, which I haven't had in a long time. So now other than my hair, I have just finished Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. And oh my god, this book was so good. I liked this more than the first book. I am very excited about book three. The only thing is that book one has a pretty big cliffhanger ending. Book two picks up right on that like same page. And book two has a very big cliffhanger ending. So I'm hoping that book three will pick up exactly where we left off, which I'm sure it will just because of like the scene that we left off on. But I'm also worried because the series is gonna have um, I believe she's announced at least six books and we're only about to get book three in like three days. So is there going to be another cliffhanger? Probably. Probably. And then I have to wait for a minimum of three more books to come out to find out what is going to happen in this series. <laughs> and it's killing me. It's literally killing me. But I'm very excited. I don't know if I'll be able to hold off starting book three until next month, I may just start it immediately once I get it in three days. So <laughs> goodbye reading plans. But yeah, it was, it was amazing. Five out of five stars. I loved every single second of this book. There was nothing where I was like, ooh, I don't know about that, like with book one. And I feel like now if I decided to reread book one that I would have enjoyed it because now... I kind of like have more feelings and thoughts about the characters at that involved that scene in book one so I feel like I would be okay with it now but it was a little like oh I don't know about that uh but yeah book two is amazing I 
uh, I, I cannot wait to start reading book three. It's gonna be a blast, but also I don't know when book four is gonna come out. Jennifer writes a ridiculous amount of books. So I think like every year she has like three or four books that come out every year. So I don't know if book four is coming out like this upcoming fall or winter or if it's going to be like next year. So I don't know how long I have to wait but any amount of waiting is gonna be too much I predict. So now what am I gonna pick up next? I don't know. Let's peruse some things together. So on Libby, I know that I have a buttload of books. I have the ebook of The Assassin's Blade, which I am doing a separate video for, but I also physically own it. So it's not really like I need to read my library ebook copy. Then I have Nine Rules to Break When Romancing a Rake by Sarah McLean. This is a historical fantasy audio, or historical romance, not historical fantasy, historical romance audiobook. I, I'm interested in checking out historical romance, especially ones that are kind of like funny, sassy, dirty, um, like a strong female lead. So I have this one as well as, oh, okay, I thought that two of them came in, but I have the ebook and the audiobook for that book. I didn't realize that I put both on hold. I think one was available for borrow immediately. But I actually wanted the audiobook. So I have the audio of that, which I'm very interested in checking out. And then the last one is the Iron King Special Edition by Julie Kagawa. I tried reading this book a very long time ago and wasn't into it and was convinced that because I didn't like this book when it's like pretty much a pillar in YA fairy fantasy that I must not like fairy books and then I read The Cruel Prince and was like wait a minute and then I've read many fae books since then so now I want to give it like a second shot and be like do I actually love this series so I don't know if I want to start that and try it out or if I want to start the audiobook for Nine Rules to Break When Romancing a Rake. You know what? I think I'm going to go with an audiobook. So it's either going to be Legendborn or Rules to Break When Romancing a Rake because I think I want to play some Animal Crossing. And I haven't played in a couple of days, so I think I want to like go back in time. Okay, I'm going to start an audiobook. I'm going to play Animal Crossing. I will try to update you again tonight before I go to bed to let you know what I've started reading. Um... I think I'm going to go ahead and start Romancing the Rake just to like get a feel for it. And if it's not what I'm into, then I'm going to go to Legendborn. So that's our game plan. I'll check in with you tonight. If not tomorrow, hopefully a lot of reading happens in the next 24 hours. Hey guys, it is Monday afternoon. I have taken today very slowly, just relaxing since it's my last day off before I go back to work. I have been just relaxing in bed, listening to my audiobook. So last night I did start Nine Rules to Break When Romancing a Rake by Sarah McLean, and I am really, really liking this, you guys. I'm 65% of the way through it. It is such a good time. I was a little worried that I wouldn't get into it, but it's it's so good. I really, really love it. It reminds me a lot of Bridgerton, but it definitely has a very different premise than Bridgerton. It's not like an exact, but just like some of the things that happen. Like if you liked watching Bridgerton, then I think that you would enjoy this book. So I'm, I'm just loving it. It's very funny. It's very dirty and scandalous, and I'm... I'm just so here for it. I didn't think I was going to like it this much. I was worried that because it is, you know, still set in historical times that the language would be, you know, I was thinking kind of like uh, Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice kind of writing where I'd be like, I don't know what you guys are saying and what's scandalous to you is not scandalous to me, but it's, it's really good. It's... I, like, if you watch Bridgerton, like, that's how they speak. Like, you can understand everything they're saying. So it's it's really, really good, and I'm loving it. So my plan is to finish that today. I don't know what else I'm going to start, but I definitely have many books that I need to read. So right now, I am just going to sit here. I don't know if I'm going to listen to more of my audiobook or if I'm going to watch TV. I kind of think I want to read, because I 
can't think of what I'm even in the mood to watch on TV, which is fantastic because that's all I've done for weeks is watch TV. So I think I'm going to listen to my audiobook. I have a very healthy lunch of um, iced coffee and Ritz crackers and cream cheese. Super healthy. Love that for me. And yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So I will update you guys once I do some more reading. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and it's time to wrap up this vlog. So yesterday, before I went to bed, I did finish Nine Rules to Break when romancing the rake, and it was so good. I had such a fun time with this book. I felt like it was very lighthearted and sassy and like laugh out loud funny at points. It was dirty, and I just loved it and had a very interesting time. I didn't expect historical romance, um, Regency romance, to be this dirty or to be this kind of like modern and sassy. So I'm really excited that that's what came out of it. I was kind of expecting more of like Pride and Prejudice, kind of classical writing, some romance thrown in, and I figured it was going to be like, you know, kissing and then cutscenes. Um, but it wasn't and I loved it. So I think I'm gonna give it five out of five stars. I had so much fun reading it and I definitely want to check out more by Sarah McLean as well as more historical romance. So I think that that is it to talk about in this vlog. I am immediately starting another one right now. So definitely look forward to that. I have decided to pick up a book that has released today. So check out the next vlog and I will talk all about it spoiler free of course. If you've made it to the end of this vlog go ahead and comment your favorite color heart. Don't forget if you enjoyed this video to give it a thumbs up. Keep reading, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! People say